Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Windows security is showing you a white blank screen with no option over here. So I was facing this problem. So here you can see the Windows security is open, but you don't see any options to click. So if you're facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now in order to fix this problem, you have to go ahead and run PowerShell command. To run PowerShell command, just copy this command and then open PowerShell, just type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow and this, then go ahead and paste the command over here and hit the enter key on the keyboard. Once the scan is complete, once the scan is 100% restart your computer and then you can go ahead and check Windows security. Now still you are facing the problem, then please follow the next step. Next step is to perform Windows update. So to perform Windows update, go to the start menu, go to the settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update. So if you see check for update, click on it. If you see any kind of download and install option is there, go ahead and click on download and install. Once the installation is done, restart your computer and then launch Windows security. The next step is to perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, just type in system configuration in Windows search box. And here you can see system configuration and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab, put a check on option which says hide all Microsoft services. Then click on disable all, then click on apply, OK, and then restart your computer and then check the Windows security. Now the next option is to disable third party antivirus. This is what happened with me. I install some uh, antivirus and after after I install antivirus, I started facing some problem with the computer. So I uninstalled antivirus and somehow the antivirus was not uninstalled properly. So that's when I started facing this problem. So if you have any third party antivirus, go ahead and disable that antivirus if you haven't uninstalled it. So in my case here, I can see uh, a bash. So make a right click. Avast still control then disable it uh, disable until computer is restarted so whatever option you want you can go ahead and disable it if you want now if that does not work for you uninstall third party antivirus using revo uninstall so if you don't want to use any third party antivirus if you want to use windows security then you can go ahead and uninstall any third party antivirus in your computer so if you have any third party antivirus maybe a vast not on McAfee, Bitdefender. So if you don't want to use it, you can go ahead and use Revo Uninstaller to uninstall it. It will completely uninstall it from the computer, even from the registry, and that, and that will go ahead and fix the problem for you. So open any browser on your computer, and then in Google search, you can go ahead and type in Revo Uninstaller, and then you can go ahead and click on download Revo uninstaller free. So you can go ahead and download the trial version. This will be free for maybe one month. So you can use it to uninstall it. Then once you install Revo uninstaller, open Revo uninstaller on your computer. Click on yes. Then go ahead and find the antivirus which you want to uninstall. So for example, I'm uninstalling a VAST. Select it, then click on uninstall, click on continue. Then click on uninstall. Yes. Now, once the uninstall is done, it might tell you to restart your computer. Do not restart your computer now. Close this window. Then click on scan. You might select a moderate or advanced option over here. And then click on scan.
Now, once the scan is complete, you will see this screen. You have to go ahead and click on select all and then you have to click on delete. This will go ahead and delete all, uh, the antivirus remains from the registry. So select all, then click on delete, then click on yes. Then again, click on select all, then click on delete. So this is how it will go ahead and completely remove all the remaining for, uh, files and folder related to Avast or your antivirus program. And once that is done, it will go ahead and tell you to restart your computer. Please go ahead and restart your computer. So after this, click on start menu, then click on power icon, then click on restart. And after that, you can go ahead and check your Windows security. If that does not fix the problem, then you can go ahead and run mal malware bytes. So go ahead and uh, open any browser and then type in malware bytes in Google search. And then go to the website. So click on malware bytes for Windows. And then here you can go ahead and download the free version. So click on free download. Once the exe file is downloaded, run the exe file. And after that, open malware bytes and then run a scan. Click on scan. And after the scan, if it finds any kind of virus or any, any, any kind of potential threat, it will go ahead and detect it and it will go ahead and remove it from the computer. After the scan, restart the computer and then check the Windows security. Now, the next step is to update Windows 10 using Media Creation Tool. So you can just go ahead and type in Media Creation Tool in Windows search box, in Google search actually. Go ahead and type in Media Creation Tool in Google search. Then go to Microsoft website and then click on Download Tool now. This will go ahead and download the exe file. Now, once the exe file is downloaded, run this exe file. Once you run this exe file, the tool will load on your screen. And after that, once you agree to the terms, you will see this screen which says upgrade this PC now. So you have to select this, then click on next. Now, once you click on next, it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now, this process will take time. It depends upon the speed of your internet. And after this, it will go ahead and install the Windows 10 update. So this process will take time. And during the installation, before the installation, you will see an option which says keep your personal files and apps. So by default, that option will be checked. So you will not lose any data on the computer. And once that is done, you can go ahead and check Windows security. That should go ahead and resolve the problem. If nothing works, then you can go ahead and do a clean installation of Windows 10. Now, whenever you do a clean installation of Windows 10, let me inform you that you will lose the data on the computer. So if you have any data, any application software, if you have uh, any um, data, your personal pictures, videos, files, go ahead and create a backup for your data and then go for a clean installation. Now use this link. In this link, I provided how to, you know, do a clean installation of your Windows 10 using USB flash drive. So I have shown the process to how to reinstall Windows 10 using USB flash drive on Dell computer, but the process remains for all the computer. It's a basic uh, steps which you need to follow. Please check this link and it will you will learn how to reinstall Windows 10 using USB flash drive. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of that uh, Windows security blank screen. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.